Okay, I'm working, doing some more work on my um, my Pi Netbooter interface, and I've also got the um, all the card reader stuff put back into it, but also with the extra extra modes in there as well. So it now supports all the different modes, all the different scripts, um, and it creates creates new uh, new files as it goes. So progress since last time. Okay, so I've got these new uh, game filters. So you can filter the game list based on various different criteria. So I've just put the game list in there. Uh, I've got one game on there at the moment, so you can't really see what it does, but you get the idea. Um, if you want to look for just your driving games, you can search by those. Search by the screen orientation, the control type, and the, the system, depending on what you've got it plugged into. Uh, what else we've got up in options? Uh, had a major, major bug actually. Um, previously, when you, when you booted it up, it was copying the CSV file back off the boot, the boot section uh, of the disk. And unfortunately, every time it did that, it changed the permissions on the file, which meant when the website tried to update that that data, it got, got all corrupted. So what I've had to do is have a manual uh, import process. So when you run it here from the, from the website, it runs as a different user which means it doesn't get the, the file corruption. Um, so if you do ever take the SD card out of the Pi and manually update the CSV file on a computer, on a, on a PC, and then copy it back onto the CSV file, when you boot your Pi back up again, you just need to do import CSV from boot drive. And that pulls the latest cut of the data off the boot sector and drops it into the right place where the website can see it. Uh, there's also another one here, which is just like a CSV dump, basically, so if you do that. You can see exactly what's in the file. It's got all the um, headings across the top. So if, this would be the same as if you open this in Excel, um, you'd see this kind of kind of structure here. Uh, it shows all the data in there, and it's pretty much complete. I've been through. I've trimmed out a lot of the. Um, there were a lot of excess image files and video files on there that got just got pulled down when I synced it with um, the Emu Movies tool. So I've um, I pulled all those out. Um, corrected some bits and bobs. Added in some more control types that were missing and ratings and that sort of stuff. Added in all of the Chihiro and Triforce games as well. Um, so what else can we got here? Yeah, just to show you the games again, it's now working. So I think previously what would happen was you click on that and it would just completely blank the screen. It worked the first time you used it. It's really annoying. It worked the first time you used it. As soon as you do it a second time, you just got a blank screen back and it was blanking all the data out. Um, change the columns that come back in here actually because I figured well if you're going to be filtering your game list you're probably going to want to be filtering it because of the kind of cab that you're running on so it's got orient it's got these screen orientation if, you if your screens inverts you can disable the horizontal games and vice versa and for the controls if you're in a driving cab you can see which games you use, use all the uh, the same controls uh, just switch it's working game list got nothing go back into here edit game list and enable. Yep, game list. And it's back. Um, what else is there? Help. Yeah, I just um, I spent a bit of time just putting some help stuff together, general use use option stuff. A bit about the various different modes, uh, editing games, card emulator, updating all the all the um, all the media files and stuff. So if you want to wanted to change your videos and images, no doubt there's one or two little mistakes in there um, where the image name. May have come down from hyperspin with it, but for a different game, I'm not too sure if the how, how many of those there are. But if you do find any, then you can go and manually edit those out yourself. And the advanced section give you a bit of background about how it all works, how it hangs together. And if you're going to build, if you want to build the, um, the cables for the the card emulators, um, it tells you what to buy, um, how to do it, and also the, uh, the pinouts here. So you've got the serial pinout here and the name the Naomi and the Hero Triforce pinouts on the other side. Uh, that is pretty much it. What I wanted to do actually was just to show you the the new card creation, which I haven't shown you before. So we go on to uh, currently I've got I had booted um, initial D three, then I shut down the Pi, hence the white screen. That's what happens when it loses communication with the card reader. So what I'm going to do if I go back into uh, options and then launch the card emulator. Initial D3. I've just played one game, so I've created a new card called Rich One. What I'm going to do is create another card and call it 
Rich 2 and show you what it looks like when you've got a new card. So this will be what you, this is what you do from scratch. So Rich 2. Uh, as soon as you hit submit, what you'll see there is that the um, starts spinning at the top. And my, my, in fact, my name which just burst back into life. That's bloody clever, isn't it? So um, yeah, now it's safe to go back to the main menu. So you can just either, you can either hit this, the, the icon or whatever. Right, so the script's now running in there, as before. And what happens with a new card is if you press start. So this is the same as if you load blank cards um, into the hopper. So do you have a card? Well, actually, no, I don't. I press start. And it says, purchase an initial D card. And you say, yeah, press that one. And there you go. This is the same as if, yeah, if, you, if you're buying a card out of the machine, basically. Um, and just to show you, it does work for the game process, the game, uh, the card selector stuff. Just choose any old, any old banger. Yeah, that'll do, that'll do, that'll do. Yeah, it's canary yellow. What is that, RX7 or something? And there you go. Your update has been saved in your initial D card, and that's it. All working. Um, when you finish the game, it just tells you that the card's been ejected. You can then start the game again and reinsert the card straight away, or you can reset the card emulator, reset the, reset the Pi, reload the card emulator, and then insert another card if you wanted to. Um, and that's it. All the other stuff works is um, works as it did previously. Uh, so yeah, that's it. Cheers, guys. Bye-bye.